Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be playing Xbox 360 games on our PC. Door. Okay, everybody, find some cover. Hey, where the hell are you going? Inevitably, this way. If like me, you clock Red Dead Redemption 2 and you've been waiting forever for Red Dead Redemption 1 to come out on a PC, it's never coming out, or actually hopefully it will come out, but I've resorted to using, check this out, this is an Xbox 360 emulator, and if you can see the frame rate on the top left, it's going over 60 frames a second. So something interesting, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption right now and I've actually clocked it, so this is actually the character you play after you clock the game. I don't want to spoil it just in case you don't haven't played it yet. It's not as good as Redemption 2 and the Undead expansion isn't as good. And the good thing about this emulator is look how smooth and silky it runs. And I'm actually, I've upscaled the resolution by 3x. So it's running really fast. I've got an RTX 3080, that's a pretty decent graphics card, but I'm only running it at 70% because I don't like the fan speed. So I like to keep it running cool. I want to keep this card as long as possible. But as you can see, the frame rate's really good. I already clocked the game, the save games works, the sounds works. It is, I've had no issues with this emulator whatsoever. However, there are some tweaks that I've done. So I'll show you exactly how to set it up and all that stuff. And the tweaks that I've done to 3X the resolution and uh, improve the frame rate, get it going really well. As you can see, I'm playing it. Can't stop playing it. So anyway, let's just close up this app and start from the beginning. You want to just go onto Google and type in Xenia Canary. Just open that one and also search for patches because that is a cool add-on too, so Canary Patches. So you want to open up those two windows. And inside Xena Canary, you just want to go into releases on the bottom, on the right there, and download the .zip file, Xena Canary.zip. Now Canary is the experimental edition of Xenia, Xenia, Zen, Ia, I don't know how to say it, but it's the experimental edition. In future, the experimental updates should work on the normal Xenia application. However, I've found that the Canary one just always runs better for me. So you download that, you unzip it, and now you've got the application, but also download the patches because you get some optimizations, you can do some cheats you can do in the game. So click on code over here and download the zip. So now you have both files downloaded, just right click and extract the folders. And then game patches main, you wanna go inside, see patches there copy that folder and put that in Xenia Canary, paste that there. That's, you got your patches in there now. Now you run Xenia Canary once, it should load up on the screen, then you close it down straight away. You right click on that config file, you click edit. And the main changes I've done is I've actually turned off VSync. When I have a VSync enabled, my frame rate's always limited to 30 frames a second. However, when I disable VSync, just make it false, type it in false allows me to go over 60 frames a second. And then if you search for Scalex, make Scalex equals three. I've tried making it two and it didn't work, but if you three X it, it works and the game looks beautiful. So I make it free and then save it. When you launch the emulator, now when you play the game, so if I go into just say, for example, South Park, it loads South Park and you're playing it just like a real game, except the graphics are really good. <laughs> you have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Not only does my Xbox 360 controller works, but the keyboard actually works. So when South Park is asking me here for my name... Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. To get it to run at 60 frames a second, there's one more thing you need to do. And that's over in the patches folder. You get a bunch of patches, you can enable or disable. So if you go inside that patch, you can see, do you want to disable trees? So that'll get you faster performance. I don't disable trees because that doesn't affect too much, but skip grass occlusion. I enable that and that stops the rendering of the grass, doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever, but it seems to just make the game run a lot faster. You can also skip the intro, but my favorite stuff is actually, that's why I did the cheat. You can have infinite horse stamina. 
so you can just tap A to your heart's contention and uh, life is good. Bottomless clip, infinite magazine, so you can cheat in this game. Infinite ammo, it makes playing the game a whole lot more fun. Some games you are going to have a bit of issues, especially when it's compiling the shaders. But you got that cool trick of just CPU, time scaler, 2x, and you can play the game in fast forward. It really makes, if you're a busy kind of person and uh, you got a job, you got work and all that stuff, playing games at 2x speed is kind of like watching YouTube at 2x speed. It makes a big difference and you can just have your fun, play it on easy mode, have some fun. So this is something you can do in emulators that you can't do in normal games, just 2x speed the actual game. So that's what I love about this emulator. As you can see, the graphics are good, resolution's good, everything's running well. So that was a quick just review overview on how to play Xbox 360 games on your PC. Overall, I am very impressed. Let me know what emulators you are using out there in the world. And stay tuned because we're going to be checking out the PS3 emulator next. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Okay, everybody find some cover. Hey, where the hell are you going? Inevitably, this land.